You look good in this lighting, Hades. Hey friends, happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, February the 8th, and I want to welcome you to this week's vlog. Feels really good to have you here with me, doesn't it? <laughs> um, it is kind of a gloomy, nasty day outside. It's been raining all night and all morning, but I wanted to welcome you to the vlog. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful that I'm able to get out of bed today and that my bad days are still significantly better than they were before. It's frustrating living in a body that doesn't function the way that you know it could. I don't know how else to say this. Um, yeah, it's really frustrating, especially because like I shared in last week's video, a lot. I think that a lot of my fibromyalgia and a lot of my pain has to do with trauma. And now that I'm dealing with that trauma, it just makes this really difficult, is all. So, I wanted to share that. Also, today is only Tuesday, so the vlog just went up yesterday, but I do wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who took the time to comment on it. Um, the comments have been so insanely kind, and I get really nervous um, implementing boundaries still. It's something that I had none. I had no boundaries before. And so now creating these boundaries of saying like, hey, this is my space and you're not going to enter it and tell me what to do um, is really difficult for me as someone who is a people pleaser, as someone with imposter syndrome, it's really difficult. But I feel really confident in this decision to really prioritize myself for the very first time in my entire life. And if you're someone who has never done that before or who struggles with that, um, I know how difficult it can be. It is very scary to put yourself first, but it's necessary. You have to put your oxygen mask on before helping anyone else. And that's something I never believed in until recently. So all of that is done. I'm going to take it pretty easy today but I wanted to show you a few things that I've done in the meantime. All right, so first up, we have the Arrow Garden. And yes, I still have the white paint swatch back there. I do think I'm going to paint this wall green, the green that I have on the door. Um, and then I'm selling this and I'm either gonna repaint those or sell them. Cause again, we're redoing all of this. So my arrow garden. Um, I did the grow your own pods. And so I have a California wonder bell pepper, a California black eyed peas, which will be interesting, lavender and cilantro. And I did say what brand this one was from because I have a couple of different cilantros. So that is what we have in there. Day one. We're starting all over again. This one is a custom garden for Aero Garden. These look the same. My philodendron is really happy and giving me a lot of new growth. Lots and lots and lots of new growth. So that's exciting. I'm so glad that you're happy now. I really neglected this um, plant for a very long time. And I finally was like, why am I not taking better care of you. I'm so sorry. So all of this color right here is like the newer growth. All right, we're on day 26. And here is the growth so far. So this tomato plant right here is obviously the one that is doing the best, the clear winner here. And then I think I'm to the point where I can harvest some of this lettuce. So I'm gonna do that today, I think. 
Still nothing on me petunia. I don't think anything's gonna grow in that back section there. I think that the lettuce, the roots are just taking over way too much, so. And update on our regrow farm over here. <laughs> um, the lettuce is growing a lot more. And if you look, we have little baby roots. Is that focused? I can't tell. We have little baby roots. I have another one here. Just to see what it does. Our celery is regrowing. I put a little mushroom friend that my kid made in here. <laughs> oh, she's a beautiful. Also, I do want to start my seed trays with you, but I was reading about how peat moss is like actually not a really good thing to start your seeds in. So I don't know. <laughs> I already have a lot of it, so I am going to try it. I don't think it can hurt very much. Oh, speaking of which, I got new seeds. Let me show you. Is this interesting? I don't know. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. <laughs> when I'm in pain, I mask it by singing, so get ready. All right, so these are all the ones I wanted to show you. They're all in their own container. I know, I'm a genius. Okay. Oh. All right, so I got, my cats are playing if you hear that. I got three different kinds of corn, popcorn, corn, um, bodacious hybrid corn, peaches and cream corn. I went to plant the three sisters this year and try and grow corn here. Um, so I got a bunch of different kinds of corn, some squash and some beans. So speaking of beans, I got the Cali black eye peas, red kidney beans and peanuts. I don't know, that'd be fun. Virginia Jumbo, of course. For peppers, I got the California Wonder Bell Peppers, the Big Red Bell Peppers, and the Jalapenos. Um, I also got some Dwarf Siberian Kale, which I think I can actually grow in the Arrow Garden since it's a dwarf variety. So we can try that. My cats are being crazy. I got the Imperator 58 Carrots and rainbow carrot seeds. Those will be fun. Some Utah 5270 celery. Some uh, dark green zucchini squash. Some Santo cilantro. Um, and then I got some baby's breath. Witch hazel, which is apparently notoriously really difficult to grow, so that'll be interesting. There's like a whole list of things you have to do, and it's very specific. <clears throat> some blueberries, high bush mix, some more milkweed seeds. I'm gonna start an entire tray of just milkweeds because I was thinking it would be way more efficient this year if I just grew my own milkweeds and then staggered growing them for the caterpillars. We released over 200 last year and we did raise a lot more. Some of them didn't make it, unfortunately. So if I can keep up our milkweed um, this year, I think we could do a lot. Um, and then lavender, which is what you saw in the Arrow Garden. So those are my new seeds. I don't know if that was interesting. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, please ignore my hair. It's hair washing day, as you can see. That was my first time ever cutting pineapple and I think I did a pretty good job. I have the top of the pineapple in the propagation station. It reminds me of um, 
Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Is that a fever dream? I don't know. Schoolhouse Rock was my shit growing up. When did this come out? 70s? I watched that growing up a lot. I mean, to be fair, I was just born in like the late 80s, so that makes sense. I was born in the 1900s, as my kids like to say. Anyways, it is the second day of my cycle, which is always the hardest day for me. Um, so I'm going to try and keep it a little chill today. I'm out of my medical marijuana. And... When I went yesterday to pick it up, I renewed my card through the state of Florida, like the Florida Health Department. But when I went up there, they were like, we have some bad news. And I was expecting them to say, like, we're out of this edible or something, but they didn't. They were like, um, your recommendation from your doctor has expired, so we can't give you anything. Oh, my God, look at this hair. Mm -hmm. So we can't give you anything until you get that renewed. So... I called my doctor. She only sees medical marijuana patients on Fridays. Um, so I was not expecting anything. I called, I left a message. I got a call back pretty quickly and I have an appointment for next Friday, which is actually pretty quick for them. I normally can't get in that quick, but last time I was there, it took five hours. The actual appointment itself took like 15 minutes, but me waiting took five hours. It was so ridiculous. So hopefully that goes well and I can get my recommendation. Like getting medical marijuana through the state of Florida is like jumping through hoops while they're on fire, suspended in the air. It's so ridiculously unnecessarily difficult and very expensive. And so I know people who I've encouraged to go to this doctor and get their medical marijuana license. And when they do, they're like, I literally can't afford to continue buying it from the dispensary. It's just way too expensive. So I don't know why we don't just legalize it. I, I think like most of the tobacco companies are basically set up to just like seamlessly transition into marijuana. I don't know why we're not already doing that. Anyways, so I'm in a lot of pain and I don't have relief really. I mean, I have like Pamprin and like Excedrin but I don't take painkillers or muscle relaxers because my mom was an addict and I, I don't wanna do that to my kids or to myself, but definitely not to them. Instead, I'm gonna stretch as much as possible and then I'm going to really take the time to just sit in my body and meditate and be grateful that I've gotten to a point where I've regulated my cycles and my hormones because that is very difficult to do. And I'm really grateful that I like opened up my period app and it was like, your period is predicted to start today. And then I like started bleeding. It was exactly how it was supposed to be. And that feels really good. And it's such a struggle for me or it has been such a struggle for me. And I miss my mom a lot. So the beginning of February is always kind of difficult for me because it's her birthday on the 5th and the day she died on the 9th. And we had a really weird relationship. It was like really rocky for a long time. And then towards the end, I was taking care of her. And so that brings in a whole different set of emotions and if your parent is an addict um, it's really difficult to see them in the throes of their addiction and then if you are fortunate enough to see them sober like I was at the end with my mom there was just like this brief period of time when she was like sober and still cognizant of what was happening. And she was just like the most fun person to be around. 
And I hate that addiction took that from us. Like, my whole life with her was not like that, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go craft camera <laughs> and eat pineapple that I cut for the first time. Excuse me. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? Look what you did. You ripped off some of my leaves. That wasn't very nice. We're on day 28. Four weeks already have passed. And this is where we're at. I harvested a lot. I harvested a lot of the lettuce here yesterday, so that's why it looks like it does. And I added plant food this morning. It's looking pretty good. Happy Thursday, February 10th. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed right now. So when I'm feeling overwhelmed, I make a list. And that's what we're gonna do right now together. Okay, let's make a list. Because like, if you're stressed, it's okay, we got this. Let's just make a list. Here we are. So first things first is I want to look at my vegetable planting guide for zone nine. And I want to make a list of all of the things that I need to start seeds for now. I think. <laughs> this will be my first year um, actually attempting to garden. Last year I just kind of fell into it, so. Also, I got the gel packs to put in my seeds, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, Shh. first let's make a list. I need a list, I need a list. This is me thinking if I wanna put it on a post-it note, a piece of notebook paper, or like, Okay, let's get a pen. A lot of the times I will put things that I've already done on here. Um, that way I have something I can immediately check off.
Excuse me. Can I mark off what I've done so far today? <laughs> okay. Hi, so as you can see, let's see if you can see, hold on. My um, thermostat is from like, two thousand five, so. I'm gonna change it out for a new one. Oh, look, you can actually see all the numbers. That doesn't happen very often. Yeah. Okay. Seventy three degrees, my house cars. Oh. Gross.
Let's see if I know what I'm doing. Da da Two labels, no. Baby Mata Buddha. I did it! Woo! Hello, my beautiful friends. Happy Friday. I'm so happy to be here with you. Um, I have a little bit of a Costco haul for you, and I'm running really short on time, so let me do it really quickly. All right, so corn, two things of eggs, so 48 eggs. My family's on like an egg kick right now, so. Um, just a little tiny thing of bananas. How many pounds is this? Probably four. Three. Six pounds of apples, grapes, how many pounds are you? Three pounds of grapes, red seedless. Red seedless are my family's favorite. 10 pounds of potatoes. I do plan on growing my own eventually, but you know, this is all until we get to that point. Chicken stock, the variety pack of the um, dull fruit peaches and cherry mixed fruit. These are actually our favorite ones, so that works perfectly. Bread, of course. And then also tortillas. Big old thing of Cheetos. I stopped buying the individual packs for my kids um, because they would snack on them and that's not really what I want them for. So I can use these for lunches. It works out perfectly. Tortilla chips, the scoops. Um, four pepperoni pizzas. Look at this big old thing of fries. Mm. Six pounds of fries. It's ridiculous. My favorite butter, Kerrygold unsalted. Oh, you can kind of see me. Hi. Queso, two of those. I've never tried this, but organic strawberry spread looks really good until I can uh, learn how to make my own. 
um, turkey breast, the albacore wild tuna, antacids. What do you know about that being 30? Okay. <laughs> um, hot dogs, chicken, New York strips, ground beef, Caesar salad. Did I say these already? No. Chicken nuggets. Almond milk. I freeze these. And they freeze wonderfully, by the way. Um, Red Bull. Sugar-free Red Bull. I don't drink Red Bull anymore. Yay me! But we still get them. Um, orange juice. You can also freeze orange juice, and it works really well. Macaroni and cheese cups. Not great, but you know, my kids love them. And then I got a five pack of Clorox wipes so that I can bring some to the kids' as teachers. And then not pictured is a laundry sanitizer that we get and paper towels. Also, um, I'm really good at guessing the like final grocery bill on things. So I guessed 425, well originally I said 465. And then I was like, ah. and remember that I'm not good at math. And I said, actually, I think it's going to be $4.25. And it was $420. So, I was pretty close. <laughs> um, I'm not feeling great today. I still don't have pain medicine, but I'm making it through. So, the kittens are at the vet right now getting shots. And we will pick them up soon. And then I will go pick up the kids from school. And I think I'm going to go see if I can buy a lemon tree. I really want a lemon tree. Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to the weekly wrap up. I am four minutes late for stream already, but I wanted to make sure that I came on here and I wrapped up this week in a pretty little bow and sealed it with a kiss for you. Mwah. Anyways, um, I do wanna say thank you so much for watching this week's video, even though I was in a lot of pain and on my period, so I didn't have a lot of energy. I'm feeling a little bit better right now, and I'm really just trying to not focus on that and just focus on um, spending time with you guys on stream and having a really good time and loving you, <sighs> so that helps me get through. This is a very quick wrap up. I love you very much, and I hope you have an incredible weekend, and um, I'll see you soon. Oh, and I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and if you don't have a Valentine, you can be my Valentine, okay? All right, cool. So we're Valentine's now, if that's okay with you. All right. Um, I love you. Have a great Valentine's Day, and I will see you soon. Bye. I want to open something with you guys, so let's do that together. Okay? Oh, really titty delicious. Okay, I'm on stream, and I'm vlogging. Let's do it. This is now an eating stream. Just me eating all of this. Oh my god, hi YouTube! <laughs> oh my god, it smells so good. Thank you, Chrissy! For my... Pineapple butterfly. Mmm. Oh. Okay, let's turn off my YouTube video before this gets X rated. Okay, was that cringy? Am I always cringy?